So the number one thing you need to keep in mind when making textures is Krita has this function called the wraparound mode. You can find it over here um, on the top part of Krita. And what that will do is kind of make things in a seamless way. So if I paint something here, turn that on, you can see that it's going to tile that the entire place. And what's so special about this is compared to say having it not enabled and I draw over this corner, you can see that it will be cut off. But if I um, have it enabled and draw on another corner, say here, you can see that it won't be cut off even though that's like on the edge of the canvas. So you can create really interesting textures over here or tiles. And the great thing is it will always be seamless because your brush will always go to the next um, tile. So it won't be cut off. So now that we have that, let's create some interesting textures that we can use for maybe our brushes it's like paper texture or something like that that has a wraparound now i have this like some sort of grassy texture and i probably wouldn't be able to do this without this like wraparound mode that Krita has now i can just export it as some sort of pattern so i've merged it over here um to add it as a pattern i just need to go over here on the top click um this button right here then go to custom pattern um, in yours, there won't be a thumbnail and you need to click update first before um, it recognizes it as a pattern. Then either use as pattern or add to predefined patterns. Since I'm going to use this for like later on, I'm going to put it to add to predefined patterns. And then you just need to name it. After saving it, you can just look for it over here. It's hard to look for. That's why you need to name it. And now you have this pattern, which you can use for anything, actually. You can also use it over here on the texture section of the brush settings and look for the grassy. And now it will influence the texture of the brush. So let's say I'm going to use this texture or this brush and a pattern for it. Use this one and then maybe scale it up a bit. This now I have um, this wonderful um, textured brush, which I made all inside Krita. If I say create a texture and I turn on the wraparound, you can see that it has visible seams. What we can do is go to filter, then start Jimmy QT, then look for this one. Make seamless or uh, make seamless patch based. And right now it doesn't work properly because the layer that I am currently on has pixels outside the canvas, which we don't want. So you can just merge it, then go to image, trim to image size, and that way it will um, delete all the pixels outside the canvas and we only have this one. Now go to filter again, Jimmy QT, then make, um, go over the fusion or patch base. Doesn't really matter which one. And what this will do is kind of try to um, make it seamless for you without you know you having to manually paint it paint the seams out patch based seems to be a bit more organic looking and you just need to change the settings over here depending on what type of texture you have so you can see the effect it has that it's trying to like um copy and paste sections from the original texture to those seams that way you don't see the seams when it's uh, when it's being tiled and you can just change some values over here of course it's not perfect but you know if you have say a photograph that you want to be tiled then you can use this one which makes it a bit more automated now i'm gonna click ok now if i turn on the wraparound you'll see you, you can see like it's tiled but the seams aren't as prominent as before it's a little less appealing but it's automated so i guess that's one good thing about it you probably know already about this which is you can turn on the mirror over here on the top and um, whatever you do on the left will be recreated on the right or vice versa and you can also turn this on um which does the same thing but you know vertically and you can also click on these ones so on the drop down button if say you move this somewhere there and you want to bring it back to the center you can do that by going over here and move to canvas center y and it will recenter it on the canvas and same thing with this one so you can always recenter it if you move the mirror line but yeah i don't think this is 
particularly good since you're limited to four quadrants and i think the better option is using the multi brush over here and what this will do is kind of do the same thing but you have way more options so right now it's translate it's gonna move the brush a few pixels around your brush that way you you kind of have like multiple brushes that's like taped together right now we want we want symmetry or mirror so symmetry, it's radial symmetry. So that means, say, if I have two brushes, um, it's gonna copy my brush and like turn it around 180 degrees. So this is different, right? Compared to the mirror, you can see that my line starts here, then goes over here. So it copies it downwards. Now if I hide that and go to the multi brush again, then use symmetry with only two brushes. Hide the mirror. You can see that if I go over here then make a line downwards it's gonna rotate it it's slightly different from the mirror but the great thing about um, the symmetry brush is you can have way more brushes and you can create these wonderful patterns and make like i don't know mosaic tiles out of these ones something like this and like from here on you can create um lots of interesting textures by just playing around with the symmetry so yeah very very interesting to use and the other one is mirror which kind of works similarly to the other ones but it gives you the option to rotate it so right now it's just um a horizontal mirror but we can rotate it so we have it uh, at a 45 degree angle and now it's mirrored at an angle and right now we have kind of like a diamond mirror so instead of having a straight up and down left to right mirror we have like a diagonal left to right which is um which creates some interesting textures as well then there's this other one called the snowflake which is basically the same thing as the the mirror with like a 45 degree angle but except in the snowflake you can have way more mirror lines and this is great for um you know creating snowflakes or other interesting textures like um art deco type stuff things like that so if you want to say make a tile um, that has very intricate detail you can use this then i can just make this like a gold color I have a background that's slightly darker brown something like this if i wrap around you'll see that it's gonna be like some sort of tiled floor which kind of like in a luxury hotel so there's that now that you kind of know how to make um floor tiles or seamless textures we're gonna go to tile sets say if you want to make a game and want to create your own tile sets you can definitely do that in krita so over here i have a document that's 256 by 256 so this is like where i put um i'm gonna put all my tiles and like place them around and stuff but it's also good to have one that's separated so i'm gonna make a 32 by 32 um tile over here so i can make use of the wraparound feature so there's that and also if you're dealing with um pixel art or whatever um you can make your brushes behave like a pixel brush by using this sharpness thing over here and basically it's gonna make it um make it like fully opaque and not have those fuzzy edges and like this one okay so of course you can like make your own texture over here just like what we did a while ago so i'm gonna create um a grass texture and a dirt texture make things simple if the texture doesn't look you know um too pixel art looking enough you can always add a filter that kind of does it for you let's add a filter mask just use palletize under the map section and you can look for different palettes so this one of course very very limited palette this one not as limited so you can definitely get um more interesting um looking textures by going over here you can also check better yeah, it has a different effect that i don't really want to go for i think um this one looks good yeah i think this one's okay i can just merge it then it's fine then i'm gonna make another one but this time for the grass so i'm gonna fill this in with green get a bright green looks fine then i'm gonna palletize it again or actually um i can adjust the contrast a bit so let's add the filter mask um adjust the levels and bring these two uh, closer together okay then 
add another one put this one for the palletize map palletize for a palette this is fine yeah and that that looks kind of cool target okay so now we have two textures the dirt one and the grass texture right but um we need to have transition tiles and um having transition tiles is like a key element on making the tile set so this is what i mean by a transition tile so you can see there's uh fully like for this one this is a full dirt texture and the other ones are half grass and half dirt so this is a square right since this is a tile but it features both the dirt and the grass right and we need to create um these types of um textures as well uh what i would want is um a preview like this where i can see all the tiles in one section and that's where this comes in so this is way bigger than 32 pixels because it's 256 by 256 and then we can set up our like tiles over here and edit them over here instead instead of using the wraparound mode over here so let's delete this copy these two and then um go to windows or go to settings then dockers then go to grids grids and guides we can make it a rectangle 32 by 32 then show grid now um this will snap to the grid much easier and much more neatly or we can set up our layout over here but firstly i want to array this so um so clones in array are really really useful when you're creating tile sets because it's an instance or like uh, a copy that's being continuously updated to show you what i mean let's add a clones array for this one and let's add tree by tree and there you have it then we can group these two okay. in the middle and this one again uh, layer split clones array on the tree by tree and there you have it so this is like a miniature version of the um wraparound mode but it still does the same thing where if you edit this one you'll edit the entire thing to make things a bit more simpler and like more streamlined i like to work with masks when making tile sets now i'm gonna set up our mask over here on the tiling document and i'm just gonna add um, a completely black layer and half of it is going to be a white layer this and i'm gonna do the wraparound so um, make sure you're only like um thinking about this edge right here like um the ones in between here instead of um moving things around on the top and bottom so this is the ones this is the only part that you need to think about and let's make that a bit more organic because this is going to be the mask for our grass and dirt so maybe this you can add the shading later right now we just want to think about the the mask um for these two textures and we want them to be seamless that's why we're making it over here on the wraparound um document now that we have that you can select it you can select it copy it move it over here then move it on this style right here now we can just copy then rotate it um counterclockwise and put it over here and do the same thing again for all the cardinal direction tiles there you go now for the corner ones we're gonna kind of simplify it so we're gonna take this one so this texture and this texture so we're gonna copy this and we're gonna copy this one and then we're gonna move this over here move this one over here then make this uh multiply blend mode oh wait nope actually um needs to be screen screen or multiply depends on like which side the black and white edges are going to be so i'm gonna pick screen and there you go it's gonna be like um creating that edge for you instead of like manually painting it then i'm gonna merge these two now we have a corner tile and we can do the same thing um then rotate it copy it again rotate it again and rotate it and i'm gonna fill this um layer like the one in the middle completely in black then i'm gonna merge all of our black and white um tiles together we can convert this into a transparency mask which we can go and add on to our grass group and you can see um, the effect it already had so from here on you can add some shading um, if you want but that's gonna be a bit more manual work and also this only applies to the convex um, corners um, we're still missing the concave corners so the ones where um, the entire thing is um, a tile where the entire thing is a dirt tile then only a corner of it is um, going to be a grass one 
so we're still missing those and like the the three others that's um like paired with it so there should be like three other tiles that look like that kind of like the corners over here but yeah i, I think i guess you already understand like the basic concept of it and the premise of how these work and of course if um you want to change something you can always go back here and like mess around with the tiles and whatever you can quickly change how it looks the downside of it is you can't really paint on the clone layers you can only paint on the source layer which means if you edit around the edges you can see that it will create um more prominent seams which we don't really want so that's how you can make like a simple tile set in krita for your next pixel art game or um whatever texture you might think of and yeah if you've watched all the way through the end uh, consider giving this video a like and if you want to see more videos like this one you can go ahead and subscribe and thanks for watching Thank you.